Quick warning for possible epileptic triggers in this video. I just got a parcel. Well, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say, but it wasn't allowed, so you know, it doesn't make sense. We just got a package. We just got a package. Yeah, there you go, from Moonpay. So it's either from my mum or her own jacket, Luton. Yeah, probably for my birthday on Sunday, but it's. It's close. It's close, isn't it? Oh, Wednesday, isn't it? Today's Thursday. What? Oh, yeah, yesterday was Wednesday. So, yeah, it's close. There's a thing. And a card. Oh, it's from Mum. Oh. <laughs> How to speak cat? A <laughs> hundred cards to teach you the secret language of your feline friends. It is four in the afternoon as well. I didn't wake up exactly as early as I wanted to, but I tried. I actually set an alarm, 1 for 2 p.m., 1 for 2.30. Woke up, both alarms were set for 2.30. <laughs> How to speak cat. Users of the meow. Cats only meow to communicate with humans, never with other cats. Cats communicate with other cats through their body language, as well as physical contact, nose touching and rubbing backs or tails. Wow. Breakfast! We are gonna sort out the decorations now because we've got to bring the Christmas ones down. So, since Oggy has ruined this box, we've got to put them in here. Hopefully, they'll fit. I don't know if you can see it next to the um, full body station thingy, but Lee's putting up the LED lights. We got LED lights because we are scared of the big light. I feel like absolute sh <coughs> It is now five past six. Lee's currently doing some LED lights. I feel horrible. I have a headache and I feel really lethargic. So I'm gonna try eating an orange. Mm. See if that does anything. <laughs> I haven't been taking my meds properly for a couple of days because I've been trying to get on a sleeping pattern. So, so it could be that. It could be I don't have enough of a certain vitamin in my system. I know it's nothing horribly wrong. I probably just need more water or vitamins or something at this rate. My D3 might have just dipped a bit, I don't know. My double chin is really gross. I'm gonna eat an orange. Change of plans. Change of plans. We're gonna go quickly pick up Connard. <laughs> I'm going because I like car rides. I'm like a dog. Car ride, car ride! Petrol, petrol! Look! Light back. Lee's putting up lights again, and I'm sitting here trying to decide what to do. Yay! It's now dinner time. Anyway, I haven't done anything since the last vlog. I just watched TikToks and played with the lights. Ah, uh, excuse you. Well, I said played. You put them up. I already said you put them up. And now I'm gonna eat my dinner. Just the same thing I've had for the past like two weeks. Because my offered. I just found a safe food. Yeah, I found a safe food. So we're good. I was dead like sure we were gonna do something. Well, I was gonna do something. I can't remember what it is for the life of me. It's like gone from my head. But Lee's gonna take a nap. So we'll have to do decorations later. Staring at me menacingly with scissors. We're just standing there. Menacing. Menacing me. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner. I forgot about Rematch's vortex thingy. Nothing gets past me. Over there. 
Initiating defense matrix. Stunner left. Is with us now. Let's Enemy get pushing. Started. Require assistance. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having some trouble. So I've been having trouble the past two days. I think it's because, like, I'm getting to that point now where I've just been awake when it's dark and it's really getting to me again. This is why I hate winter because my sleeping pattern's delayed anyway. It's always dark when I go to bed and when I wake up. And if I do wake up early enough, it's only like an hour of sunlight and it just, it really messes with my head. And I get like really bad like seasonal depression and stuff like that with it. But um, it's like the main reason, but today I kind of got thrown up a, off a little bit because the plan was today, decorations. Because last month at Halloween, we got so sidetracked that we didn't manage to do it until the week of Halloween. And it stressed me out to no ends, and I just wanted them up so I could enjoy them before we had to take them down again. And that's why I've been talking about doing it since the 1st of December. But there's so many things that we have to do, like meet people, buy presents, sleep, try and get our sleeping pads fixed. Um, eat, make sure we got food, blah, 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 like, so many other responsibilities. Um, plus I can't physically go in the attic by myself because I cannot climb the ladder because I have a fear of heights and that includes the third step of the ladder because I have such bad balance I know I will fall. So I'm, like, terrified of it. I used to go in the attics all the time. I used to go in my auntie's and mine, my mum's house, but I, I can't do it. Because the attic is like, say so like the stairs of this part here, the attic is there. So if you fall sideways, you fall down the stairs. I hate houses like that, it really does my head in. If it was in this room, no one in stairs, I could close the door. I could do it, but because it's over the staircase, I physically, mentally, and emotionally cannot handle going up there. So I have to get Lee to do it. He's obviously got most of the responsibilities in the house, you know. Like, I try to help out, I try and clean and stuff like that, but my... Issues, we'll call them issues, because we don't know. I'm not diagnosed yet, so we'll call them issues, have just been acting up horrendously since I got back. It does kind of do that after I go back down to my mum's. I'll have a couple of issues for a couple of days. Then I'll get used to it. And then I have to come back here. And then I'll have issues for a couple of days. And then I'll get used to it. But for some reason, it just seems to take me longer to get used to being back here. I, I still can't figure out why yet. I need a lot of therapy. Whole other subject. Um, <clears throat> but I just had a lot of trouble today because we were definitely going to do the decorations. And then he got distracted by putting up the LED lights. And then we had to go pick up Connor. I'm not saying this is anyone's fault, I'm just saying the plan's changed and I'm having trouble dealing with it. Um, but then Lee was so tired because he wakes up so much earlier than me. Which is another annoying thing. Pills make me sleep for 10 hours, exactly. And on days where I'm extra tired, it makes me sleep about 13 at the most at the minute. I think 12 or 13. I didn't check how long I slept today, but I definitely slept longer than I was planning to. So he wakes up at least five hours before me, or three hours, whatever. So he's always tireder, um, he's always tired quicker than I am. So he's taking a nap, and I know now that it's like midnight, so he probably won't do it because he doesn't want to wake up Connor, he doesn't want to wake up the neighbours and stuff, but then it's just if we leave it, are we actually going to do it tomorrow? Or are we just going to keep repeating the cycle until we can't do it again? Or do it anymore? And it's, it's just that stress of knowing that 
we're in a cycle and that I physically cannot get us out of it myself it doesn't help that it's so bloody cold that my toes feel like they're gonna fall off but every time we put the heating on I get too hot because I have no temperature control of my body so I'm having a great time right now plus filming myself is just reminding me of how much weight I've gained (laughs) and it's really thrown off my body dysmorphia so plus my lips I I need to take Christmas photos, but I'm trying to wait for my lips to heal. Because one, I don't want to put makeup in them. And two, it's going to show up through the makeup. Yeah, this was meant to be a quick thing of like, hey, I'm having a lot of issues today. I'm sorry if my vlogs are short for the past couple of days. Because I've just been, not been able to do anything. It's driving me insane. But yeah, I need to go wake up Leah from this nap now and see if he wants to sleep anymore. And either let myself play games or edit the video and feel useful. Bed cake time! Kitty, shield your eyes, Uggy. Shield your eyes. Kiki! Gamer lights! Kiki! Gamer lights! First vlog's rendering! Yay! I gave up on Overwatch. There were too many people who didn't know how to play the game in my teams again, because the matchmaking on that game is just trash. So I'm going back to Fortnite again. Yay! Super big warning for flashing lights. <laughs> He's making me play Team Rumble! He's making me play Team Rumble! <laughs> what are you doing with your leg? What are you doing with your leg, huh? What are you doing? Hmm? Hmm. Clean scratches. Oh, yes, you like that, don't you? Good boy. It's currently 5 a.m. So. Sleeping pattern doesn't exist anymore. Buggy. Hello. Hello. I had a meltdown because I was so overstimulated. I had way too much excitement today and way too much sugar. Again. And I'm tired and I've had a constant headache for about a week. And it doesn't go away when I wake up. Like, it goes away when I fall asleep, obviously. But, every time I wake up, it's there. And it feels like it's because my teeth are grinding together in my sleep again, but I honestly don't know what it is. My nose has been stuffy and everything, so... I don't know. As I said, my issues are just running rampant. So, I had, like, a mini meltdown. I don't know if I'll have a proper one. I hope not. I really don't like having them. I say... The last time I had a bad one... I threw my phone at the wardrobe. And smashed it. I think we're gonna go to bed soon, so... If you enjoyed today's vlog, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell notification. And I'll see you tomorrow. Today. Later. It's currently 8.40, we still haven't slept yet, it's not daylight outside, which means I'm not going to wake up until probably around 7 o'clock this evening, so I didn't want, but it keeps happening no matter how hard I try. I have been trying constantly. Every couple of weeks for about a year now. Just to be awake during the day. And the only time I managed it was when I got sick in November. And I could go to bed at 9am, 9pm, and wake up at 9am. And that was just because I was sick. That's how I knew I was horribly sick. Was 
because it was the only time I had a sleep in pattern. So, um, I think I'm gonna go cry now because I'm so frustrated and I'm so tired and I'm so overwhelmed. And then I'm gonna wake up tonight and cry even more because I'm frustrated and overwhelmed. Mm.